Alright and welcome back to part 2 of CNC late turning using Masticam X7. In part 1 we learned about how to locate the part, how to create stock and how to set the parameters for a G72 can cycle for rough facing. In this video we're going to talk about the steps of creating a G71 can cycle for OD roughing. Now before we get started I'd like to show you the dimensions of the part so you have a pretty good idea of what size part we're machining. Alright, so let's take a quick look. Alright, and then let's go back to level one and let's go into the steps of creating the G71 can cycle. Alright, so the first thing you do is click right next to the red arrow and right click wand over lathe tool paths and scroll down to canned, canned rough and we're going to pick our profile and the first thing we're going to do is pick the very first segment at the very front of the part and make sure that the arrow is pointing in the correct direction and then the very last segment of the part and you can see that the whole chain in between those two segments is now chained and ready for machining alright so we click on OK Alright, so then our window pops up and first of all we're going to make sure that we have tool number one selected which was the tool that we used for the G72 rough facing can cycle. Alright, so tool number one is selected. The feed rate, first of all, let's go ahead and put in 12 thousandths. On the constant surface footage we're going to change it to 600 with a max RPM of 3000. Then we click on coolant, we make sure we turn the coolant on, that will cause us to get an M8 in our code. And we're not going to put a check mark in the force tool change box, but we are going to put a comment in the comment box, rough OD. Okay, alright, so let's go to the next tab, can't rough parameters. And right there you can see the preview of the G71 can cycle as it's going to post out into your program. So it wants you to fill out these fields right here and as you do it will automatically start populating that G71 can cycle preview right here. So we're going to leave 10 thousands in Z and we're going to leave 30 thousands in X. Now we're not going to use any clearance in X because Mastercam will now start machining at three and a half inches it looks at the size of the stock and any clearance that you will add will cause tool passes to just cut air so let's leave that at zero we do want to put a hundred thousands in the Z field because we want to make sure that we start in front of the part and a hundred thousands is a safe distance depth of cut is going to be hundred and twenty five and we're gonna retract fifty thousands at the end of each pass so you can see that the G71 can cycle preview is now updated with the values that we entered into these fields. Alright, so one more thing we got to do is go to plunge parameters and we're going to make sure that the first plunge cut parameter is selected because we don't want the tool to try and undercut any of these areas that need to be grooved. All right. Then let's put a check mark in the extent contour because our contour that we selected is inside the stock and therefore we need to make sure that the tool path starts at the outside of the raw material. Alright, so let's take a quick look and see what the cutter pad looks like. Alright, so first of all we need to make sure that we regenerate all dirty operations. Alright, so there's the preview. And let's go ahead and back plot and let's see what that looks like. Alright, so you can see 125,000 per pass. Now you can see we're not going past the part, so we need to go back into our parameters and make sure that we extend that last piece of geometry that we picked. We're going to go to lead in, lead out, and we're going to select the lead out tab. Put a check mark in extend and make sure the extend is selected and we're going to extend the contour by 150 thousandths to make sure that we're relieving some material for the cutoff tool to be able to get in there. So let's 
say OK, and we say OK again. Of course, now we have a dirty operation. So we regenerate, and you can see now we're machining 150 thousandths past the end of the part. So let's take a quick look again. 125 thousandths per pass, and you can see it's not trying to dip down in any of these areas that need to be grooved. So that's it for the G71 can cycle. So let's take a quick look and see how these two operations will post out. So I've made sure that both operations are checked and we click on G1. You make sure that the correct boxes are checked for NC file and edit and click OK. Give it a name and we're going to call this rough face and OD. Say OK. And then this is the program posted out by the 2-axis default CNC lathe post. Now if we take a close look, we got tool number one. We turn on the spindle and we position our tool. We set our max RPM and our service footage and then we go right into our G72 can cycle. Now notice that the P and Q value is P100 and Q110 which of course refers to the N100 and the N110 down inside the geometry section and without tool change it goes right into the G71 can cycle for OD roughing. And notice that the P and the Q value are assigned a different number so that the N numbers do not overlap. Alright, so this takes care of all the rough facing and rough OD turning. So all that's left is finish turning, grooving, threading, and the cutoff, which we'll cover in the next couple of videos. I thank you for watching. I hope this helped you, and we'll see you in the next video.